Welcome back to Conversion Conversations. This is just some more test footage, uh, mostly to get some stickers that I wanted to take care of out of the way. So what you see in front of you, we've got Power of the Prime's Moon Racer and her <laughs> Retool Nova Star. Nova Star just came in from Amazon not that long ago. Um, and I have the uh, Reaper Label set right here. Part one and two for Moon Racer. Not a big set. Figured it would be something quick I could do. Uh, get this done. I'm recording audio separately now, so I just wanted to try and learn how that works uh, while while I record this video. All right. So let's get Nova Star out of the way. I just kind of wanted a quick comparison. I, I thought it was really interesting. Uh, the only thing remolded is the heads, um, but they do a lot with the paintwork, as you can see here, like which sections they choose to paint versus uh, keeping transparent. They do paint uh, behind the transparent plastic on Nova Star, and that's a really cool effect. Um, the sections in the middle, I think it does a really good job making things look different between uh, the two molds. And then, of course, we are getting Chromia uh, later down the road um, in the Siege uh, Generations line which I'm less excited about. Chromia uh, would have been awesome if she was a combiner with some new kibble, but as she is, I'm not I'm not as into it. All right, so we're just gonna start with sticker number nine, and I got my tweezers right here. I'm planning on uh, doing, um, ooh, let's change the way we're grabbing that. There we go. I'm planning on doing Nova Star up with labels once she gets uh, her label set from Toy Hacks. And then, there we go. I already do have uh, stickers that I'm gonna put on Alita One, but that'll be a little longer video because I wanna show how to remove uh, the existing stickers without gunking everything up. It's not that complicated. I just thought it'd be kind of cool to, to do a video of that. Um, but yeah. Life's been pretty good for me. I'm back in school, getting my master's. Uh, classes are going very, very well. Uh, obviously, I have enough time to do dumb stuff like this. Um, there we go. All right, next we want to move to number six. Come on. Still working on things at the apartment. I do have uh, flooring in the kitchen and the uh, living room that is going to be replaced uh, with wood flooring. Um, so I got to move my collection, which is in the living room. Uh, so all that process is kind of delaying the. Uh, the work desk that I want to get set up so I can be recording stuff uh, in a better setup. So the reason I'm doing these is just kind of keep myself busy. Still working on some of the technical kinks. Might as well keep learning. And then uh, I just had these stickers burning a hole on my desk and I'm like, I need to freaking just get this done. This is number five. And somehow, I don't know, I, I recognize that this probably is not most people's cup of tea, but uh, I've always liked hearing and watching someone do work like this. Same with the Gundam sets. I've always really enjoyed uh, watching people build Lego sets or Gundam sets. Oh, and these are nice, uh, if I can get it focused on camera, the sticker has little cuts in it where the uh, the panels change on the toy and it lines up perfectly and looks real nice and just adds a little extra detail and the color match as you can see is is really really good I'm really happy with that and we'll do the other side but yeah moon racer is an interesting character she first appeared in the g1 cartoon I think the show was the episode was called something of the fembots or i don't exactly remember um she 
like Alita One was leading a team of guerrilla warriors back on Cybertron while Optimus was fighting Decepticons on Earth. Uh, and out of that team was uh, RC was on Earth, but Alita One uh, led the team, and she had Moonracer, Nova Star, uh, Lancer, and Chromia, and um, there was another green one, Green Light, Green Light. And none of them really got toys until Chromia got, I guess RC was the first one that got a toy. Um, but then Chromia got a, a Generations toy that was remolded, robots in disguise. Oh, let me see if I can line that up. Up top. It was a Prime Robots in Disguise RC that turned into a motorcycle. I have that Chromia. Love that Chromia. Um, don't think I'm going to get the Siege one, especially since Siege of Cybertron Chromia is not a combiner. Uh, that's kind of frustrating that they don't match up. Let me see if I can fix that. Uh, Moon Racer has a toy from like 2005 that was like a BotCon uh, figure, but I think it was just uh, Energon. Maybe it was Energon or Cybertron. I'm not sure. Uh, Unicron Trilogy Motorcycle RC. I don't remember what the original toy was, but it was a little like Scout Class Motorcycle. Um, and then she's been in the comics, the IDW comics. And I love her alt mode there. It's like a little space car. Big fan of that one. That looks a little better. Uh, let's do these wheels. So the wheels sometimes... I mix up because they are two different sizes. I don't know if you can get a good view of that. There we go. So the small wheels, big wheels, big wheels go in the back. Sometimes I don't pay attention to that and stick a wheel on and realize it doesn't fit and then have to redo the whole thing. Oh, these are nice and easy to pull off. Sometimes the wheels, uh, they're not cut all the way. They, they stick to the sheet. So that was very convenient. And then Nova Star has never gotten a toy uh, the closest thing we got to see in alt mode, I think, was the Transformers Legends uh, digital card game had her. And it kind of looked like her alt mode was like a, a retool of Cup in that card art, which I can throw up while I'm doing this. Oh, come on. Yeah, these stickers are so skinny and and comparatively long that it's really tough to apply the wheel stickers without it bending or wrinkling in some way. So I gotta be careful with those. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with these two. I, I like that there's a hint of a combiner for that original team. I would have loved if they did an additional mold that was like a bigger Cybertronian style pickup truck um, and it turned into uh, Lancer and then it got repainted as green light and then we could get like another uh, combiner team from this group it's a shame that it, it looks like the power of the primes line got cut just a little short I, I'd be very curious to hear what happened on a corporate level because it feels like there was intentions to do more with the line uh, looking at some of the concept art um, it looked like they had ideas for more leaders. There was going to be a leader Star Saber that maybe didn't get a prototype, but it looked like it. There was they were definitely thinking about it as a concept. So this is the right side. And we'll do the left side wheels. Um, which would have been very very cool. I would have loved to see that. I'm I'm. I'm really happy with Masterpiece Star Saber. Um, I know there's like a non-transforming Star Saber coming out that's based strongly off the IDW version, which I I know a lot of people don't like uh, Warhammer 40k Inquisitors like Space Marine style Star Saber, but uh, I had no attachment to the original characterization. I know he's like a good guy and he like loves the children or something, but I kind of like the idea, and I know it's like super dark and edgy and lame, but uh, some part of me was really happy with 
our star saber just being like this freaking religious nut job of an autobot uh i like my good guys but uh i don't know in the autobot decepticon war i've never never felt even even when they tr made it as black and white as the old cartoons um it never struck a chord with me the the Autobots being pure good guys and the Decepticons just being a bunch of crazy evil dudes. But yeah, so I'm, I'm still working on getting the show off the ground. Once the apartment is all set up, then I can get my table because I, I got to move uh, in this recording room. Uh, I'm going to have to move my shelving units in here temporarily while we're fixing the floors, uh, replacing the floors. Um, there we go. I don't even know if I'm putting these up, the, the videos. I know I did Prowl, and I, I don't think it's anything worth sharing right now, but just because I'm not going to share it doesn't mean it's not worth recording. I'm still learning something while I'm doing the process. <clears throat> So yeah, so these are the, uh, let's see if I can get it to focus. Yeah, there you can see kind of right here is where one of the cuts is and then there's the other cut. And that's super handy. But yeah, I still think I, I might be done with Reaper labels for a little while because I, I still like the idea of just putting it on like my combining figures and my my Titan Master figures. Um, it's some like I don't know something extra to separate them from the regular trans. Uh, I don't like that. Ooh. From the regular transforming robots. Um, so after I get Nova Star, I don't know that I have a strong need to get more stickers unless I, I get a third party figure. I, I but then I generally. They do, they're pretty good with paint apps and all I really want on those is the symbols, which I have so many Autobot and Decepticon sticker sheets. They give you like a pack of four every time you uh, order anything from Toy Hacks, which is nice. I wish there was a way to tell them I'm good for now and I don't, I don't need any more of those sticker sheets. I don't want them to waste their, I realize they're probably super cheap, but you know. No need to be wasteful. All right, let's switch images. All right. Next will be, oh, I got on page two, there's these vent, vent details, number seven. But yeah, I've, I've like haven't really started the show in earnest, and I've already got like a giant backlog of. Right now, I've I've got four Gundam kits on hand that I'm like I want to record these, and I can't build them on this desk anyway. Um, I got four of those I want to build. I've got one more coming. Um, If I could find a like a high grade one forty fourth scale or one hundred and forty fourth scale Maganac, I would love that. But I don't know if that exists as a toy or a model kit, which is a shame. Wing was my shit, and uh, Tall Geese and Maganac were my favorites. I like the mass produced suits generally more than I like the Gundams, except for Heavy Arms because Heavy Arms was like. None of them are realistic, but like if, if you're engaging in modern warfare, you're going to be a weapons platform. It, that just makes sense to me. All right, let's go to the back. Yeah, the Moonracer alt mode 
I actually like Chromia's remolding up here where it's like one solid windshield now instead of this segmentation. Um, the back is always a mess. I, they 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 added some taillight stickers to try and like help her disguise better, I guess. Um, but in Cybertronian, I don't think she's fooling everyone. Anyone? I like the idea of like, no, this is just a convenient way for me to travel quickly. As far as the toy goes, I'm I'm pretty happy with it. It's a combining limb. It gets a very distinct silhouette as a leg, um, kind of skinny, which I I like. I I would like I said previously, I would have loved to have a second set of um, limbs for Alita Infinite. And a different body type. I RC, Chromia, like Moonracer, they all have that kind of supermodel body type, which, you know, nothing wrong with that uh, a feminine figure, but it would have also been cool to have, oh, let's transform her, uh, combining limb without the backpack, and I think the backpack is a big result of uh, having to fit the peg, the combiner peg, um, in with such a skinny waist. Like, as you can see here, this waist can't hold the peg. Put the peg in the backpack. I like this skirt. Like, I kind of like, like that back skirt. And the backpack's not terrible. It's not super obtrusive. Oop. Did I jump the gun on that part of the transformation? Yep. Pull her out. There we go. Yeah, Moonracer. But yeah, you know, a bigger body mold, like a uh, strong arm, RID 2015 strong arm. Love her design. Clearly feminine, clearly a fembot, you know, um, but like still strong and very evocative of who she is as a character. She's the no nonsense cop, her alt mode, everything ties in super well. I really like uh strong arms design wish her character got a little more uh development in the show but r.i.d 2015 was you know standard saturday morning kids cartoon no one really got a ton of development that looks that looks really nice that i feel like i might have to make sure that doesn't roll back up Give it a little crease. I might go back over it and just like kind of give it a cut with a knife along the uh, the edge of the curve, and that helps it stay down. I know they also sell like a, a a secondary adhesive for you to. I think you lacquer your your sticker with it, and it like helps hold it down. But I, I'm not about to do that. But yeah, like that color match. They they do such a good job with these labels. They print so nicely. I would love for repper labels i guess i'm not sure what the company's called anymore is it called toy hacks now like hasbro if they want to you know save money on their paint budget by doing adding stickers don't apply the stickers you know just give us a sticker sheet but contract out repper labels and be like hey we were normally going to spend you know x amount of money on paint what can you give us as a sticker sheet for that much money, and I'd, I'd be pretty okay with that. I'd prefer paint apps, but a good sticker set to me is a nice experience. I really like that. Yeah, Moonracer I don't know a ton about as a character. I don't mean, I don't think she's, she's done a, a lot. Number four. There we go. Get on her little toeses. But I dig. Just it, it having. Right, the, I, I recognize some people are like, oh, their fembots are weird in Transformers because they're robots. Why would they have masculine and feminine forms? But 
freaking Autobot right leader Optimus Prime is a dude. So, like his iconic image is not a gender neutral image. So I'm I'm totally fine having female robots, and I think it adds more to them as a culture, it makes them more interesting. I've been really really enjoying IDW stuff. I'm. A little sad to see it go, but I'm pretty excited. Oh, there are stickers for her eyes. I don't think I want to do that. I like her eye paint. It's uh, sticker one here. I, I've never loved uh, eye stickers. And I think she's got a lovely shade of blue. I don't need it to be reflective, I don't think. I'm trying to look and see how that might look. No, no, I don't want that. I think we're almost done. I got all of sticker sheet one done. Uh, I just got number eight and number, oh, come on. Yeah, that backpack, uh, thicker legs, thicker body, less of a backpack, helped out a lot. Number eight, number three. So three goes on her thighs. There's like a little cut detail for you to follow with the uh, the sticker. There we go. Just a little bit of extra coloring break up the the design on the the leg. But yeah, I, I've been pretty unhappy with the stickers we've gotten from Hasbro and, and these in, in place of paint apps. I guess Siege for Cybertron kind of excites me in that it seems like a it's almost like a line gimmick. Like they're making they're making paint applications a line gimmick with the uh oh come on. With the weathering they're doing. The battle damage. Um which one, I like that because uh, it's adding paint budget. Even if it's for paint applications, I personally don't want. And two, it's not molded battle damage, which means it will be really easy to fix with repro labels. Like, oh, I was just saying how I'm probably not going to buy anymore. But if I get any Siege toys, I will be uh, buying more repro labels. And then the last ones go, oh, it's... Uh, on her car, I missed these. Cause I, like, I don't need a side swipe. I'm really happy with, I have uh, it's not the traditional G1 style side swipe. It's actually movie side swipe, but it's movie side swipe as another character that they painted to look like G1 side swipe. And that's my, that's my side swipe. I like side swipe with the swords and he's red and he's got his black head and i'm pretty happy with that and then um so i don't really want siege sideswipe if they do a retool into sunstreaker which i recognize would be a pretty heavy retool um or if they do another figure as sunstreaker i still need a sunstreaker in my my collection or if they retool him as any other i don't need red alert i i have that uh universe red alert which i'm really happy with but if they give him a like minor character repaint, I'd be, I'd be down to pick that up. Right now, I think the only thing I'm picking up is probably Ultra Magnus. I like that Ultra Magnus a lot. I think everyone does. That's so far that seems to be like the standout of the line. The uh, Micro Machines style little Minicon guys don't interest me all that much. Maybe if I see them in the store. I might pick them up if they're like five bucks or something. Um, Ironhide looks cool, but I I have a prime Ironhide that I'm really happy with and I don't particularly want to replace him. Maybe if they do like that black Ironhide redeco, I'd be down for that. Um, Chromia is not a combiner and I already have a Chromia that I like much more than that Chromia. I don't think I want that. Yeah, Siege is, is looking like a line that I might generally skip. But that's Moonracer, and she's all stickered up. 
And just a quick comparison, this is Nova Star to Moonracer. So I'm hoping we get similar detailing. Well, obviously it won't be the same pattern, but you can see she's got uh, stickers on the feet, stickers on the legs, stickers on the thighs, the shoulders, that helps a lot. Um, back mode, a little extra details on the edges here, and then uh, back here. But yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with this set. And uh, here's a comparison of the alt modes. Um, yeah, like it just really makes that vehicle mode just pop even more. It's a kind of a big nothing, but it's a big nothing that I like, and I'm excited to see when Nova Star comes out. And then next episode, I'll be doing Alita 1. Thanks, guys. See ya.